All right, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, two years ago, the $2.2 billion Midcoast Trolley extension was complete, and now people are asking, what's next? You know who I'd ask that question of? <laughs> That guy right there. That guy right there. Ed, weren't you there for the, yes. I seem to recall you in a hard hat, you were there for the official ceremony of the ding, 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 here comes the trolley, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, the extension golly, we, grand opening. Good morning. Yeah, and and we were, I mean, we, uh, of, of uh, all the media in San Diego, boy, we were on the Midcoast trolley, uh, which the UCSD people, including the students, obviously, were thrilled about. So what more can we do, though, in this area, especially in terms of housing and building codes and economic growth uh, to encourage people to take advantage of the Midcoast trolley? Because certainly uh, the VA people and the UCSD people, i.e. students and officials here, are, are thrilled about the uh, $2.2 billion Midcoast trolley. This is the largest single infrastructure investment in our region's history. So uh, again, we're at the campus station right here. Me, you might be able to see uh, the tracks up above us here. The station just uh, to my right, and then immediately beyond that is the VA station. So two stations, the VA obviously adjacent to the campus. So again, uh, this huge infrastructure project, everybody's thrilled, uh, but the think tank, and we have done a stories, we've done stories on this nonprofit think tank called Circulate San Diego, which wants to talk about enhanced mobility in our region. Uh, mass transit is a huge topic of discussion right now, as you know, thanks to Sandag and its huge $163 billion dollar and change regional transportation plan. Now obviously the trolley is part of all of this, but it's not uh, in terms of the future. You know, the future is now in terms of the trolley, but what more can we do, especially in this area with building codes and uh, uh, our laws uh, regulating density? Uh, the Circulate San Diego has been taking a look at this for three years now, and they're going to they're going to issue their report at 10:30 right here where we are to talk about the fact that we can do more to increase ridership on the tra in the trolley, and especially in this area, uh, which has uh, so many offices and homes, and uh, it, it would seem pretty dense as it is. But uh, is there more we can do? Because obviously, mass transportation, at least according to Sandag and Circulate San Diego, has got to be part of our future if we're going to not have gridlock in 2035. Also, and, and, and whenever there's criticism of Sandag and all of this, et cetera, Hassan Ikrata, who's the executive director of Sandag, is going to point out, we've got mandates, greenhouse gas emission mandates, meaning do it away with it, that have to be met. And that includes the Regional Transportation Safety Plan. So Circulate San Diego will be here. Representative Scott Peters will be here to talk about our future. And we are talking back to you this morning uh, very tactfully. <laughs> yes. Well, all right, Ed, this is uh, improvement. Here we go, right? Yep. I, I